How's it going boys and girls? My name is Kawi and welcome back to the Carrot Club. In today's video, we're going to do another video on Roblox Studio. We're going to cover the topics of Array. I just want to let you guys know that the coding stuff that we're doing is going to get a lot more complicated because you're almost done learning the basics of lore and you're almost ready to make your first game. So I hope that you guys have been practicing everything up to this point. We're slowly getting into the harder coding concepts where we put everything we have learned together. If you still don't understand these concepts, this is a good time to join Carrot Club Discord server so you can be around with people who also code, ask questions, and make new friends in the community. So with that, let's get started. So what's an array? An array is basically a variable with a lot of information inside of it. Think of it as a train where you have the engine, which is the variable, and every card that the train is pulling is one piece of the data. If you're ever lost in understanding what an array is, just think about this picture here where Thomas the train is pulling stuff around. When I just started learning about code, I remember drawing the array like a train, so I know exactly what it looks like. So let's write our first array together. Local Thomas equals curly braces. And this is all you have to write. In Lura, this is what an array will look like. The curly braces is used to encase all the data you're going to put inside of it. So for example, if I want to add three pieces of data inside, I will write it inside of the curly braces like this. One, two, and three. And they're separated by commas. If we think about the train picture again, we have Thomas in the front, and each number inside of the curly braces would be a cart that Thomas is pulling. The first cart would be the number one, the second card will have the number two, and the third card would have the number three. So these cards is called an index, and this is how Lua knows what value is inside of an array. You can call it a card if you like, if it makes it easier for you to remember, but the definition is index. So to retrieve the values out of an array, we have to use the variable name plus the index number, or in other words, which card do you want to look into? Here we have a print statement that says print Thomas square bracket with the number one inside. What we're saying here is, go to Thomas and look inside of the cart number one, and it will print out the number one because the content inside of that cart one is the number one. If I want to get the second or the third cart, I can say print Thomas number two or print Thomas number three. The last thing I want to mention is that you can look into an index that don't exist. For example, I can say print Thomas Number four, the fourth card in this example don't actually exist. So Roblox Studio will tell you at this point, it is Neil because there is nothing there. If you want to fill this imaginary card with something, you can say Thomas square bracket four equals four. This is saying I want to fill a fourth card with the number four onto Thomas. When you run the script now, it will no longer say Neil, it'll say the number four because now I just created that card for Thomas. Now, knowing all of this sounds good and all, but unfortunately, in a real Roblox game, you won't ever use the array like this. So in this last example that I'm showing you, I wanted to show you guys how you would actually use this, and we're going to use loops to look through all the cards. If you guys don't know what a loop is, check out this video here where I explain what a loop is. You can always join Carrot Club Discord server to chat about it as well. So in a real situation, we'll use something like this. For i equals one, comma, pound sign Thomas do print Thomas I. Okay, let's not get freaked out what I wrote here. It is actually really simple. Let me explain what it does. What basically this is doing is we want to use the loop to count from one to however many card there is that Thomas is pulling. The number Thomas here is Lua's way of saying, tell me how many card there is in total for this array. If Thomas has three cards, it will say three in here. Or if Thomas has four cards, it will then say four in here. That's all it does. So the loop will count from one to three because there is only three cards here. Every time it loops, it will display the content inside of each card, one at a time. And this is how would you use it in a practical situation. And this is all I wanted to show you guys here. I hope that I didn't lose anybody in these examples. If it sounds too complicated, watch this video again, or again, join the Care Club Discord server and we can have a chat over it, or you can just leave a comments down below. And that's all the lessons I have for you today. So thank you boys and girls for watching, and I'll see you in the next video in-game or at the Care Club. Take care, everybody.